guys, so it is Thursday, June 18th, 2015. It is 4.04 in the p.m. And I am just getting off from work. Just got in my car. And you know, we like to drive and talk. We probably shouldn't do that, but it just makes life better sometimes. My drive better and quicker getting home just because of you guys. So I've missed you. I've missed YouTube. I'm trying to catch up on videos. It's been a very, very busy week, but today is pretty much my Friday because this was um, my last day of my work week for this week because I'm off on Fridays during the summertime. And this is the last day of vacation Bible school. My car is registering at 99 degrees and we are going to be at the park today. Um, so it's going to be something different. And But they do have um, an inside building that is air conditioner, air conditioned that we can be in to get cool. Oh, Ooh, the truck was all in the middle of the road, guys. We checked the trailer truck. He was in the middle of the road. People. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. I've only worked out one day this week. So there are basketball courts there. There's a playground there. So I'm planning on trying to be a little active outside with the kids as much as I can be. Hopefully be them cooled off. There are a lot of trees around the particular park that we're going to be at. So hopefully we'll be good and hopefully the sun will go down. Uh, um, a little bit so I can get some, you know, some movement. But um, my eating's been kind of off. I've been taking in more sodium. I haven't been drinking as much water as I need to. But today I made sure that I got hydrated. I have gotten in, um, let's see, 104 ounces of water, 104 ounces of water today so far. So I still have about 40 more ounces to drink to meet my requirement for my particular by the way that's aiding me in trying to get uh, not trying in releasing this weight away from my body so um yeah so i've had a lot of water i got my bottle that i'm gonna finish before i get home and then i'm gonna get me uh, another cup uh of 20 24 ounce 24 ounces of water before I get to the park to make sure that I'm good and hydrated. I know that they will be feeding the kids, y'all already know, don't you? Hot dogs and chips, and then we have popsicles and that thing out there with them. I'm not gonna cook dinner today because I didn't take anything out, and I just don't feel like I wanna relax and rest when I get home tonight, and so, I don't know if we have any other options. I don't know if there'll be anything else there that I can eat. But um, I did go ahead on and put, you know, what I thought that they may have in my fitness pal mm -hmm. under my diary and I added in with my calories for the day. So I'm covered and I'm good if I choose to, you know, eat a hot dog or two. And I'm, guys, I really want to get off of like the processed meat and, and hot dogs stuff. I know it's not good for you. It's really not. And it, it, it you know, guys, it's a process. We know it's, it's just a process. So I don't know. I'm not there yet. So we'll see what, not saying I'm not there mentally. I'm just not there at the park yet. So I don't know. You know, they may have some turkey dogs or something. They may have a hamburger. If they have hamburgers, of course, I'll go for that. I may just eat a popsicle. I don't know. It's going to be Friday, June 19th. Um, and I'm heading into the gym. The sun is shining bright and it's hot already. Uh, it's a little bit after 8 o'clock. Of course, you all know about um, everything that went down in Charleston at the church and, and everything. And South Carolina is my home state. So, and where I currently reside in. So, of course, you know my thoughts and prayers are with the families of those that tragically lost their lives. It's just so sad that um, 
people are still people still hate people based on um, something as simple as the color of their skin. It's just crazy, guys. But anyway, I'm heading into the gym. It's been a crazy busy week. Of course, um, I had vacation Bible school all week, and so I only got one workout in this week. This will be the second one. I really want to go to the pool today. I may do that and try to uh, maybe do something in the pool for about an hour or so after this hour workout here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I hope you guys had a good week. I hope everybody's doing okay. And once I get in here, I will be taking a body shot and I'll be trying to compare uh, from a few weeks ago see where we are i can definitely tell my clothes because i had them from black pants the other day and my husband said to me he said you're gonna need a belt <laughs> and i said i'm gonna be losing away huh he said oh yeah so that made me feel really good and he noticed so i will see me i will see you guys in a minute okay <laughs> i just wanted to take a look at the pool the sun is out but it's not too hot so i may come back up I get in a pool to do some um, running and walking in the pool. It may be kind of fun uh, because that workout for some reason was really, really rough. Um, sorry, it's kind of hard to get through it, but I got I got managed to get two miles in. And I don't know if it was because of the way I've been eating or I'm just tired physically. <clears throat> I went to bed last night at 11. And this morning when I woke up about 6.30, in my mind I wanted to come, but my body wouldn't let me. And I think I'm just really tired from running all week, you know, just working all day and then running to do stuff because my phone had shut down on me. I had to run back to Verizon to do that. And then just doing other stuff in between, going to vacation Bible school, getting home, 8 o'clock, and then just trying to get, you know, situated for the next day. I think it just kind of took its toll. And I probably should have waited till later on after I've rested some to go do it but um you know hashtag no excuse there's no excuse but i just think that you know this time my body's just tired i'm just tired physically and i should have just probably rested a little bit but i wanted to get it in before it got too hot it's nine now nine o'clock and i'm thinking about going to get into the pool. I see somebody in there now. It looks like it looks like he's exercising too. I'm gonna try to get my husband to go up with me so I won't have to be up there by myself. <laughs> um I think he said he had to run to the store. But the sun's out he may not want to go up there but I really I'm feeling like you know the pool may be a really good workout before it gets too too hot. And the sun is shining really bright. And I am so self-conscious when I put on a bathing suit, as we all probably are. But um, some people just don't care. You know, some people, they do not care. Oh, well, my husband, he's still home. So he may go with me before he goes to the store. He was up at the gym with me, actually. And he left walking to go to the um, to check the mailbox, but I didn't see him on the way back. I don't know if he detoured or he made it home. If, he, if so, he walked kind of fast. But um, I see if I can get him. He's not. He's not in his car. I see if I can get him to go to the pool with me because it's really nice right now. You know, the sun is shining. It's not too hot. I don't want to tan. I don't need a tan right now, but I'll probably get one today if I go up there. But that'll be fine. So, hopefully, I see you guys in the pool. Back home, I'm not at the pool as you can see. 
I may go a little later on. I can't find my bathing suits. I have two. I can't find either one. But there are other alternatives beside a, besides the bathing suit. But I just wanted to come to end this vlog and just say that um, I hope you guys are doing well in your journeys. Welcome new subscribers. Uh, we are in this together as a weight loss community. We are here to support one another. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that I started doing this because YouTube, meaning this meaning YouTube, because it really is holding me accountable and I feel like, um, I feel like I can't fail. You know, I feel like if I don't do this, then the world be what will be watching me fail and there is no failure in success and I look forward to being successful. I look forward to you all being successful, reaching your goals. I am cheering you guys on and um, we're in this together. So we're here for support one another, each other, and I will see you guys at the finish line and um, just have a great weekend and I will see you guys later. Peace.